I'm the maintenance manager for Lady Loretta Mine Site, which is a uh, Glencore owned asset in North Queensland. Uh, we started this project after a care and maintenance period of approximately two years. We have a very detailed life cycle management plan for all our pieces of plant with a lot of scheduled maintenance. We are fairly active in our approach towards maintenance rather than passive. We don't believe that the way we're doing things now is the only and correct way. We look for constant improvement uh, with our product and with the partners that support our product as well. Uh, having that relationship with Sandvik helps us to keep our costs down and keep our availability where it needs to be. Up to mind for us and real-time data logging uh, of our fleet is very important for us. The opportunity to jump online and have a look and see exactly where that loader is or that piece of plant is at any one time, see how our operators are operating that equipment, see if they're operating that equipment effectively uh, and efficiently and being able to pick up those very minor improvements uh, if something isn't going the way that it's meant to. And then being able to share that knowledge across our fleet, uh, across our operators, uh, it will drive improvements across this mine site. It will help to uh, keep our prices down and keep our productivity up. They collect the data on board onto their onboard unit and uh, we have a series of fibre nodes or Wi-Fi antennas in the level set up in each level access and around the um, area. As soon as that um, loader comes within range of this, it will upload all the information from that which can then be accessed on computers and um, people can see all the information that, um, that it gives them. Every level in the mine is set up for that, so as long as they're travelling around, they're going to be constantly uploading that information into the system. The OptiMine, it can tell you what faults are happening at what time, so um, one of the main maintenance bugbears is intermittent faults. The operators um, complain about an intermittent fault, you get into the workshop, you can't get it to play up. That'll help with that sort of thing. And operator behaviour, if there's a trending behaviour of something they're doing that um, could damage the equipment or shorten the life of components, we want to know about that so we can, um, so we can change our training to suit that. One of the things that impressed us was uh, not only the availability for it to tell us what our machines were doing at the time, what our operators were doing, but when it brings up log codes and uh, faults and alarms, it actually tells you what that means. So you can hover across your icons, for instance, where it says that there's a, uh, a brake fault and it would tell you that uh, you know, your operator is perhaps pressing the brake and accelerator pedal at the same time, which isn't something that uh, we want them to be doing unless they're going at a very low ground speed. I believe that if we can get that information of, of what they're doing well and what they're not doing well back to them, uh, we will get better operators out of this. So if people understand the equipment they're operating, uh, understand its, its limitations, uh, then they won't be pushing the equipment so hard. So we've done damage to equipment uh, by overrunning the engines, overspeed. We hope that by giving operators the feedback uh, that uh, they'll I'll uh, change their behaviour in their, in their operation of the machines. It's there to help, help them understand uh, what's going on with the machine. Um, and if we can, we can address it early, then uh, I believe we're going to get better availability out of this equipment.